Say we want to find the collapse loading factor, lambda, for this continuous beam of maximum moment capacity, mu, due to the external loads. We're going to start by drawing the collapse mechanism. So we're going to have a plastic hinge at each of these um, pin ends and one here. Now, for the angles, let's assume this one's theta. And from this, using trig trigonometry, we can then find this length in terms of theta and this angle in terms of theta. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. We know that the opposite side is this, which we're going to call dx, and the adjacent side is 4, so dx over 4. We also are going to use small angle approximations, assuming theta is very small, so get rid of tan, and we're left with theta is dx over 4. Rearrange in terms of dx, we get 4 theta. So this length is 4 theta this displacement due to the point load 5 lambda. Now, um, looking at this triangle, we can find this angle, let's call it thigh for now, in terms of theta. So, tan thigh is the opposite, so 4 theta over the adjacent 2. So, 2 theta. Once again, assuming small angle approximations, we can just say that thigh is 2 theta. So this angle is 2 theta. Okay. Now, we're going to find the external load and internal load for um, this structure. So, to get the external load we're gonna integrate from 0 to 4 2 lambda theta x dx now we're integrating from 0 to 4 so this length across this length the load of 2 lambda theta x is of 4 theta basically and dx is um, basically the length the fraction of the length of x um, on which we are integrating the work done for because we're not using the whole length x so let me write this with brackets and then we also need to integrate from 0 to 2 so this side of 2 meters 2 lambda so the um, load by 2 theta x because this time our angle is 2 theta with respect to dx and we also have not only the distributed load acting but also the point load of 5 lambda so the work done externally due to the point load is going to be the force of 5 lambda times by the distance across which it's acting, so 4 theta. So 5 uh, lambda 4 theta. Now when we simplify this, we're going to get 2, the, 2 lambda theta to integrate from 0 to 4 plus 4 lambda theta x squared over 2 from 0 to 2 we integrate plus 20 x theta for the point load. This is going to simplify and we get the external um, work as 44 lambda theta. Now for the internal um, work, 
we know we have three plastic hinges and that the maximum moment contribution for the plastic hinges is mu. So at this plastic hinge moment mu, at this plastic hinge moment mu, and this plastic hinge moment mu. Uh, one more thing, we need to find the external angle, which is going to be the sum of the two internal angles. So three theta. And to find the internal work, we do 2 mu theta plus 3 mu theta plus mu theta. So we're going to have 6 mu theta for the value of our internal work. Now we know that the external work is equal to the internal work because our structure is in equilibrium. And when we equate them, we get this. And we're going to rearrange in terms of lambda. Cancel out the thetas. We're left with um, 6 mu over 44. So 3 mu over 22. This is our value for lambda, which is what we're looking for.